She paid $15,000 for mom's final arrangement, and now worries Brooklyn funeral home stored remains on unrefrigerated U-Haul truck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the People's Forum of Industries with Big Stone. The COVID-19 virus has reached 422 with 8 confirmed deaths. A Brooklyn woman says that weeks ago she paid a funeral home $15,000 to handle her mother's final arrangement and now wonders if she was one of the rotten cops police found in an unrefrigerated U-Haul truck. Tamisha Covington at Question Thursday for the Andrew T. Keckley funeral home in Flatlands. What have you all been doing to our mom? The whole time she's just been sitting in a truck, Covington said she'd like to ask. How do we know? We don't know, Covington said. State Health Department officials have opened a probe into the unacceptable conditions at the funeral home located at Utica Avenue and Avenue M. Cops on Wednesday found dozens of cops stacked in two U-Haul trucks and a U-Haul van along with several more bodies in two refrigerated trucks. Mayor de Blasio on Thursday blasted the funeral parlor treatment of bodies amid a wave of deaths in New York City during the coronavirus pandemic. This horrible situation that occurred with the funeral home in Brooklyn, absolutely unacceptable, de Blasio said during a briefing Thursday. Covington, who showed up at the funeral home Thursday, demanding answers, the situation wasn't just unacceptable, it was heartbreaking. Her mother, Deborah Harris, 60, died of a heart attack possible from coronavirus complication in a Brooklyn home on April 7th. The funeral home took her body on April 9th. After two weeks of ducking her call, she said, someone from the funeral home called her sister earlier in the week and gave her a funeral date of May 12th. Covington said she should have understood if the funeral home staff had told her they couldn't handle the overflow and that a viewing wouldn't be possible. Instead, she said the funeral home stay mum. Be a little respectful for us. We're mourning, we're grieving, Covington said. Have a little courtesy for the dead, she added, and don't be robbing us because we're getting robbed. Why are we paying $15,000? Nobody can explain that. Can somebody tell us why they're ripping us off instead of helping us? I know they got our loved one in you all's. The city said last week that bodies of some coronavirus victims will be temporarily frozen to reduce strain on hospital and funeral home with limited space to preserve the dead. Somehow, the heifer didn't cover the Andrew T. Cleckley home. On Wednesday, people walking by the truck saw leakage and smelled the odor of death from one of them, said law enforcement sources. I saw 15 bodies in the U.R. truck stacked up on one another and more in the other, one officer said at the scene. Other witnesses said they've been watching corpse loaded onto the truck for days. De Blasio said Thursday what happened was unconscionable and that he was very disappointed. The funeral home didn't contact the city or state or reach out to the NYPD for help. I'm sorry, it's not hard to figure out. If nothing else is working, call the NYPD, the mayor said. It was an emergency situation. The state health department, which regulates funeral homes, 
as to determine what penalty the funeral home owner may face. The home's operator, Andrew Cleckley, could be fined, be temporarily suspended from the business or have his license revoked, state officials said. The bodies found in the truck are being brought to a morgue in Brooklyn, officials said. Cleckley, who referred to himself as The Undertaker, on his Facebook page, did not return messages seeking comment Thursday. A woman answering the door at a relative's queen's home yelled, He's not here. Do not come here. He's not here. Families and funeral homes who can't immediately collect and handle bodies can ask the city medical examiner's office to temporarily store the dead until arrangements are made. Coronavirus victims will only be buried at the city potter's field on Art Island if they cannot be identified or next of kin hasn't been reached about 15 days after death. During the pandemic, the city is transferring some victim body from morgues and refrigeration trailer to freezer truck to ensure they don't decompose. But once a funeral home collect remains, they can't be returned to the medical examiner's office. Ask if the funeral home should be able to send bodies back to the medical examiners if they run out of space and take on too many remains. De Blasio said he didn't know about the detail about the city handling of the situation. But the mayor said funeral homes have an obligation to the people they serve to treat them with dignity. Jamaica were up to 422 cases of the coronavirus with now a confirmed death of number eight. Be careful out there. The numbers are rising. Follow the instructions that is given. Maintain physical distance of at least six feet. Avoid going into the public without wearing your mask. It is supposed to be worn at all times. Safety and precaution is your best bet to save your life. Stay home if you don't have to go on the streets and practice social physical distancing. Thank you very much for listening. New York is on the siege. Please don't let this happen to Jamaica. Thank you.